Well, the staff at Metro Jail used to spend a lot of time trying to get unruly inmates to comply. Yeah, but now guards say they have a new tool helping them get a real upper hand. Our Dacian Smith has the story for us. And Dacian, this is a new tool. It's a glove, much like a taser. Yes, it is. And the staff here at Metro Jail say these new gloves have really made a difference. And in some cases, they've gotten inmates to comply just from putting them on. With around 1,500 inmates in Metro Jail, it's common for things to get unruly. We have assaults on a daily basis. We have fights between inmates almost on a daily basis. Which is why over a year ago, Sheriff Sam Cochran ordered some of these gloves after seeing them demonstrated at a conference. And in the 14 months since they've been used, corrections officers have already seen results. They are starting to get uh, more familiar in the jail. So a lot of times when we have an incident and they see us coming to the area, putting the glove on, they'll go ahead and comply. The gloves are used along with other tools like pepper spray, batons, and tasers. But even though they give off a shock like a taser, the gloves do have their advantages. And once you shoot the uh, taser, it actually takes the risk of the person going down and injuring themselves. With the gloves, it's actually hands-on, so I have more control of a person that's going down. Corporal Johnny Pugh says the gloves give off less voltage than a microwave. And it normally doesn't take long to get compliance. Normally, a cycle is between five to ten seconds. Um, a lot of time, we use them on their arm, their back, or their leg. And normally, uh, once you touch them, they'll comply. The main goal of resolving violent conflicts in Metro is to do so without an officer or an inmate getting injured. Warden Trey Oliver says that's exactly what these gloves have helped them do. Our people get injured, that costs the taxpayers. If the inmate is injured, that costs the taxpayers. For $1,400 we're able to end a situation that is de that has escalated out of control and bring it back into control within a matter of a second or two. All right now the staff at Metro Jail has about 15 pairs of these gloves, but the warden did mention that they're wanting to add even more of these gloves over the next several budgets. And he also said that at some point he's wanting to outfit at least 25 to 35 percent of the staff with these taser gloves. Live in Mobile, Dacian Smith, Fox 10 News.